What's up, basketball fans? Today, we've got a juicy topic that's sure to get your basketball brains buzzing. We're diving into the world of what-ifs in NBA history. Yes, those moments when the course of the game could have taken a completely different turn. From tragic losses to missed opportunities, these scenarios would have changed the NBA landscape as we know it. Welcome to part one of the biggest what-ifs in NBA history. But before we dive into our list, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Starting off at number 10, we have one of the most heart-wrenching what-ifs in the game's history. What if Len Bias never passed away? In 1986, the basketball world had its eyes on Len Bias, a standout player from the University of Maryland who was destined for greatness. He was a surefire top three pick in the upcoming NBA draft, ultimately selected second overall by the Boston Celtics. The thought of Bias joining an already stacked team with Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish had fans buzzing with excitement. Tragically, the basketball community was left in shock less than 48 hours later when Bias passed away from a cocaine-induced heart attack in his college dorm room. His untimely death sent shockwaves across the nation as Bias was seen as the next potential rival to legends like Michael Jordan. His talent was undeniable, and his arrival in Boston could have rewritten NBA history. Imagine a world where Bias and Jordan engaged in a rivalry reminiscent of the Magic Johnson Larry Bird era. These two titans could have faced off year after year in the same conference, altering the course of the 90s NBA landscape. Bias's passing remains one of the most tragic moments in NBA history, and we all wish it could have been more than just a heartbreaking what-if scenario. For number 9, let's fast forward to 2018, when the Phoenix Suns had a golden opportunity. They owned the first overall pick in the NBA draft for the very first time in franchise history. The Suns carefully evaluated their options, recognizing the need for a dominant big man. Ultimately, they chose DeAndre Ayton from the University of Arizona. Ayton had certainly held his own, averaging 16.7 points and 10.4 rebounds over the last five years, and he even helped lead the Suns to the 2021 NBA Finals. But here's where it gets interesting. Just a few picks later, a future NBA superstar was waiting to be selected, Luka Doncic from Slovenia. Doncic had been an MVP caliber player virtually from day one in the league. Now, let's dive into the tantalizing what-if scenario. What if the Suns had chosen Doncic over Ayton? In my opinion, the Suns could have clinched the 2021 NBA championship with Doncic leading the charge instead of Chris Paul. Doncic's skills and leadership could have propelled them to that elusive title. Moreover, with Doncic as their cornerstone, the Suns might have won multiple championships by now, given the incredible talent they've managed to build around their stars. But the ripple effect doesn't stop there. Imagine this, Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal may not have ended up in Phoenix. Doncic's Supermax extension with the Mavericks might have kept those star players elsewhere. And remember the intense rivalry between Doncic and Devin Booker? Well, in this alternate reality, they could have been teammates, dominating the NBA together one game at a time. The only constant in this alternate universe might have been the Dallas Mavericks, possibly with Trey Young as their point guard instead of Luka. It's like a rift in the space-time continuum, reshaping the NBA landscape as we know it. All right, folks, grab your popcorn, because we're about to dive into a blunder that even your grandma could have seen coming. At number eight, we've got the Detroit Pistons and their 2003 NBA draft decision. What if they drafted Carmelo Anthony instead of Darko Milicic? Spoiler alert, it's a comedy of errors. It's the 2003 NBA Draft, a treasure trove of talent waiting to be picked. Future champions, MVPs, and Hall of Famers in the making. But the Pistons, bless their hearts, had other plans. They owned the second overall pick right after LeBron was scooped up by Cleveland. So what did they do? They decided to roll the dice on Darko Milicic from Serbia, a seven-footer who had scouts drooling. Milicic, however, would go on to become one of the NBA's legendary draft busts. I mean, he played for 10 seasons and averaged a whopping 6 points and 4.2 rebounds for his career. But here's where it gets good. 
right after Detroit's pick, the Denver Nuggets chose Carmelo Anthony, a future Hall of Famer and scoring sensation. You can't make this stuff up. Oh, but wait, it gets better. Detroit did manage to win an NBA championship the very next season in 2004, so it wasn't a total disaster. But what if they'd gone with Melo instead? Here's where the comedy really kicks in. Scenario 1. Carmelo Anthony arrives in Detroit, wins a championship as a rookie, and suddenly, he's not the butt of every ringless joke in the book. But would the Pistons still have traded for Rasheed Wallace that season a crucial part of their championship run? Would Melo's offensive firepower mess up the Pistons' defensive mojo? Or would Detroit have pulled off the miracle of turning Carmelo into a defensive guru? The possibilities are as wild as a game of musical chairs at a clown convention. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round because we're about to take a ride on the Minnesota Timberwolves roller coaster of draft blunders. At number seven, we've got the infamous, what if the Timberwolves didn't pass on Steph Curry twice in the 2009 NBA draft? Yes, you heard that right, twice. Now, let's set the stage here. The Timberwolves, who've had their fair share of draft mishaps, but none. And I repeat, none as hilariously cringeworthy as what went down in 2009. They held both the fifth and sixth overall picks, desperately seeking the next savior to turn their franchise around. And what did they do? They kicked things off by selecting Ricky Rubio from Spain with the fifth pick. Not a bad choice, except they had to wait two long years for him to join the team. With the sixth pick, they brought in Johnny Flynn, who graced the NBA with his presence for a whole three years before vanishing overseas, probably in search of the fountain of basketball youth. But wait for it, folks. Right after those Timberwolves selections, the Golden State Warriors swooped in and grabbed Stephen Curry. Yes, that's Stephen Curry. Ever heard of him? The guy who changed the game of basketball, won four NBA championships, and became the greatest shooter we've ever seen? But what if Curry had actually landed in Minnesota? Would the Timberwolves have turned him into a lumberjack on the court, completely changing his style of play? Or maybe he would have become a superstar without the guidance of Steve Kerr and Mark Jackson, leaving us with a Minnesota miracle. Or brace yourselves, what if Curry had somehow transformed the Timberwolves into a championship-winning dynasty, hoisting not one, not two, but four NBA titles? Now that would have been the plot twist of the century. All right, my fellow basketball aficionados, buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into a what-if scenario that's more twisted than a pretzel at halftime. At number six, we've got the Portland Trailblazers and their legendary draft mix-up what if the Trailblazers drafted Kevin Durant instead of Greg Oden? Now, let's set the stage, shall we? For 46 long years, the Trailblazers have been trying to claw their way back to the top of the NBA mountain. They've had their fair share of ups and downs, but this one is a doozy. It all went down in the 2007 NBA draft, where they owned the coveted first overall pick. And what did they do, you ask? Healthy, he's right on schedule. Well, they rolled the dice on the promising big man, Greg Oden, fresh out of Ohio State University. Bless their hearts, Oden missed his entire rookie season and only managed to grace us with a grand total of 82 games in six years, thanks to more knee and foot injuries than a clumsy tap dancer. But here's where the plot thickens. Right behind Oden with the second pick was none other than Kevin Durant, a scoring machine who went on to win four scoring titles and MVP two NBA championships, two finals MVPs, and even turned the Brooklyn Nets and Phoenix Suns into contenders. Just picture Durant joining forces with Damian Lillard and the legendary Brandon Roy before his early retirement. That trio could have gone down in history as one of the greatest trios ever, making matchups tougher than solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Personally, I think they would have given the Miami Heat a run for their money in 2012. Move over, OKC, because the real Splash Brothers might have been in Portland, and they could have even taken down the mighty Warriors in 2016. It's like rewriting NBA history with a side of extra sauce. All right, and there you have it, folks. Part one of the biggest what-ifs in NBA history that could have rewritten the game's narrative entirely. Be sure to catch part two when it drops.
If you've enjoyed this deep dive into NBA history, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more exciting content, and leave your thoughts and your own what-ifs in the comments below. Until next time, keep on!